blonde ex-wife of a multimillionaire who held the now dubious distinction of being the oldest NFL cheerleader. Because tonight she stands accused of molesting a 15-year-old boy, reportedly her own son's classmate, allegedly having trysts with him in her Cadillac, serving him alcohol before trying to have sex with him. Molly Shattuck once made history by becoming the oldest NFL cheerleader for the Baltimore Ravens. I can say initially it was intimidating. I put on the uniform and I thought, I looked at my husband and I said, what have I gotten myself into? The skirt is nine inches from the top to the bottom. But that was 2006. Today, 47-year-old Molly Shattuck is charged with raping a 15-year-old boy, reportedly a friend of her eldest son, indicted on multiple counts of rape, sexual contact, and giving alcohol to a minor. A far cry from the woman we met eight years ago for 2020. I am a stay-at-home mom. And so basically, it's just running around with them and doing all of their activities. She led a seemingly idyllic life. Three beautiful kids, the older multimillionaire husband, a life of luxury and philanthropy. Shattuck appeared on the ABC reality show Secret Millionaire, giving away nearly $200,000. I am not about labels. I'm not about fancy designer clothes, fancy shoes. I feel incredibly grateful for the house we live in, the lifestyle that we lead, but I was rich way before I ever moved into this large house. After hanging up those pom-poms, Molly recently became a budding lifestyle mogul with exercise DVDs and a book called Vibrant Living. Do you understand the idea of what it means to be a desperate housewife? Does that resonate with you at all? I just think that women, unfortunately, in today's society get caught up in what their kids' activities are and who their husband is. And they lose sight at who they are. I think their marriage tends to go stale maybe a little quicker. Um, they feel trapped. But now investigators believe this housewife did turn desperate. Court documents obtained by Delaware Online allege that the illicit relationship with the teenage boy began via Instagram. She allegedly liked a picture of his, her own son telling his friend, you should text my mom, she's obsessed with you. They allegedly began a relationship that included sexting and makeout sessions in the backseat of her Cadillac Escalade. But things took a turn for the even worse over Labor Day when Shattuck reportedly rented this seaside house in Bethany Beach, Delaware. Her three kids, their friends, and her alleged teenage victim were all staying over, according to those affidavits. After giving the high schooler beer, she allegedly offered to have sex with him. The boy reportedly said no to intercourse, according to those affidavits, but told authorities Shattuck allegedly performed oral sex once outside while walking the dog and again in her bedroom while wearing pink lingerie. Think about it this way. He, at 15, not able to form consent, had the mental acuity and the, the maturity to be able to say, you know what, this isn't right for me. But she, in her 40s, didn't have that same sense about her, which is something I think that plays against her in a courtroom. Right, the 15-year-old is acting like more of an adult right. than the 40-something. Right, I mean, that's the key. I mean, if, if he's acting as more of an adult, it makes her look worse. That could be the case if the charges are true. The boys' school reported the alleged incident to police, and the headmaster issued a statement saying the parent has been prohibited from entering McDonough campus, and additional security measures have been in place to assure the safety of the students. At the end of the day, she stands accused of being a sexual predator. If this was a man and an underage girl, I think you'd hear people screaming from the rooftops, this guy's got to go to jail. If you prove that they had sexual contact, he's got to go to jail. He's a pariah in the community. He's a rapist. Right. But for a woman and a boy, it's a little bit different. But here she is dancing around in skippy outfits, very sexualized. How does that play out in a courtroom when you're facing these charges? Well, I think she and her lawyers are going to hope to kind of cast this as, hey, this was a big misunderstanding. She's somebody who's very attractive. And maybe there was some sort of consensual relationship here. Consent doesn't matter in a case like this. Right. If they had the contact, she's guilty. And it doesn't matter whether he consented or not. Not at all. Back in 2006, I asked her about the impact of being so openly racy. Is there a downside to moms being sexier, do you think? No. No, we're just leading by example, trying to be the best women we could possibly be. And if we commit to doing something, 
We're giving it our all. And so what better thing could you show your children than that? But why would an attractive, wealthy, high-profile woman with so much at stake Run. risk losing it all? Even though she is a woman in her late 40s, mentally, does she feel more in sync with a 15-year-old? Why do you keep running away? Because you're going to bed. I don't think I should be up here. It's a syndrome played out in The Graduate, a classic Hollywood tale about an older woman taking advantage of a much younger man. Mrs. Robinson, you're trying to seduce me. <laughs> she may be wondering whether she's still attractive anymore to the opposite sex. She may be very frightened about aging and whatever that means to her. But something is triggering her insecurity. Shattuck is now estranged from her husband, Mayo Shattuck, the chair of the Fortune 500 energy company, Exelon. The couple filed for divorce two days before a search warrant was issued. Police trying to locate key evidence in her home, reportedly her cell phone and that pink lingerie the alleged victim described. Earlier this week, she pled not guilty to the charges, and her ex-husband released a statement saying he is shocked and saddened about the allegations. If convicted, this former cheerleader could face up to 50 years in prison, and for the seemingly devoted mother, custody of her three kids is on the line.